Hello everybody, um, I hope you're all well. This is a, another unboxing video. It's probably been my last one for a while because I'm going to try and read the books that I've been sent first before I um, order any more. This time it's from Bees Emporium. The last box was from a, bo a box of stories and I got four books. Uh, I've already finished one which is this one and I've got three down here to read as well. This is a bit different. This is a romance box and mainly romance stories that I like to read are Pride and Prejudice and Jane Eyre and that's it. And now this one, because this is one of my favourites. <laughs> this is a really good book. And yeah, I'm going to see what's in here, so let's go. Right, I've got three books. Nope, four books. Put that on there. Right, so I've got four books. And the first one, I don't have, so it's a good start. A Stolen Summer. Okay. So this is the front. It says on the front, an old woman, a younger man, a temptation impossible to resist. Ooh. So here we are, this one. And it is by... Sorry, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> it looks really good, actually. Ooh, it's probably something I'd probably like. The Courtesan's Lover by Gabrielle Kim. Here we go. Set in Naples, 1564. Okay, that looks really good. Ooh, I do have quite. I do have. I used to read a lot of historical fiction, like Philippa Gregory, Anne O'Brien. They were my favourites. So. It'd be nice to read something different actually, so it'd be quite nice. Okay, the third one is The Book of Love by Finola, Finola Kearney. I am bad at saying these names, so sorry if I get these wrong. Here we go. It's very pretty, I like this cover. It's basically a love story that happens over 20 years. Okay. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, this might, might, I don't know, I hope. This might appeal to my... Ooh, ooh, this might appeal to me. <laughs> it's called A Weekend with Mr. Darcy <laughs> by Victoria Connolly. Okay, I'm going to read the blurb for this one because this one sounds funny. Catherine Roberts is fed up. As a lecturer specialising in the works of Jane Austen, she has come to realise that the ideal man only exists within the page of Pride and Prejudice. Another Austen fanatic, Robin Love, is blessed with a name full of romance, but her love life is far from perfect. Stuck in a rut with a bonehead, bonehead boyfriend, she longs for an escape. They both head to the annual Jane Austen conference, hoping to cast their troubles away. But as chaos ensues, it seems an Austen weekend wouldn't be complete without a little intrigue and romance along the way. <laughs> cool. So it's got humour, love, tear, um, drama and friendship. So you get some, a lot of these books have one of these... Um, wheels on the bottom that tell you what kind of book it is. I like those because then I can tell what kind of book I'm going to be reading. Ooh, okay. I think I'd, I might read this one first. Whoop, I'm going to drop that. i read this one first, I think. Because um, I like the sound of that. So it's going to go with my other books. And uh, that'll be my to read pile along with one book that I'm currently reading. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so here we are those three. Uh, I'm going to put a link down below for the Bees Emporium. I can't remember how much this one was and I don't know where my phone is. I think it's on charge somewhere. I think it was around about, I think it was around the same price as a box of stories or maybe a little bit more, I can't remember. But they do either one offer buys or you can have a subscription with them which is great. I might actually, if I start picking up my reading pace I might actually do that and so guys i hope you're all well don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel for more booktubing content and please stay safe bye guys